But when we finally settled on writing about family and a documentary approach, we had a character who was the documentary filmmaker. And this, this character was meant to be a Dutch filmmaker who had been a, an exchange student who lived with the family when he was a kid 20 years ago. And he always referred to them as my American family because of the summer he spent with them or the year he spent with them. And now he's realized they've, they've gone off into three new families and he wants to make a documentary about the American family and thinks they're the perfect people to, to make a movie about. And so the series was called My American Family. Um, but then it became too cumbersome to, to uh, include that documentary documentarian. So we jettisoned that. We have deftly failed to explain it. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think, look, it's, a, it's an approach that's been around a long time, and Christopher Guest does it in movies. Albert Brooks used to do it in movies. You know, in Ferris Bueller, Ferris Bueller stops and talks directly to the camera. I mean, it's not, it's not a, a sort of a, a visual vocabulary that is jarring to audiences because they've seen it before. So we sort of thought, well, maybe the audience will provide its own explanation. Someone, I guess, is making a documentary about these people. Um, you know, and we sort of like it and we don't ask a lot of questions. We were hoping that's what America would say. And I think for the most part they have. I mean, they sort of like this glimpse into what people are thinking when they talk directly to the camera and they like this sort of stolen camera angle thing. And that's sort of where it ends for them. I mean, I'm sure some people go like, well, who exactly is filming this? But, you know, hopefully they provide their own answers. That's well, we right. script everything and then we give the actors some license to kind of roll with it, do what they want, improvise. We always, you know, we always shoot the scripted version several times and then give them their kind of their free reign. As far as their looks to the camera, some of those are scripted, you know, so-and-so steals a glance at the camera. Um, a lot of them are things that on a certain take, you know, the fourth or fifth take of a scene, we might say, you know what, just really, really subtly kind of look in the direction of the camera after you say that. So we have choices and then we decide in editing what we want to go with. But we don't want to overdo that because it, it sort of uh, violates the form a little bit. If they're too often winking at the audience, you really lose the, the experience of having people interact in a, in a home and a life and we just get to look at it. If they're constantly letting us know they know we're here, it, it kind of vitiates that a little bit. So we, we try to be quite sparing with it.